Hey y'all, it's Joe, just Joe, back today with another video. Um, got this heavier, I think it's called a jacket, jacket, I don't know, whatever it's called, it's warm. It's really windy outside, it's really not like a bad temperature for me, but because of the wind, it's really piercing, so we're fixing to get something to eat, look for um, the Fur Babies Advent Calendar uh, fillers, and um, might go by TJ Maxx if we have enough time, but um, my foot and everything's still pretty sore, so it just kind of, we do the most important things and kind of go downhill, you know what I mean? Because at some point I usually have to come home, oh, we got to go to Verizon. I think that's PetSmart, Verizon, and Eat is the most important thing. So, I just threw on my base. Oh, I messed my whole intro up. I got two going. Um, I'm Joe. I do makeup, talk about my fur babies, mental health, sometimes unboxings. Um, I don't know, just a random a variety around makeup and skincare. I guess I hope that makes sense. But anyway, I'm just gonna throw some eye makeup on and give an update on my cat Lucky and just kind of ramble. I just walked outside and I can feel my hair trying to knot up. I don't know how people with curly hair do it. I have naturally curly hair. I usually straighten it because if I go outside and it's damp or windy it's not that I don't like the way it looks because I kind of don't care about that once it's curly it, it, it kind of <coughs> stays fine but it's the knots I get in my hair and I don't know how to avoid those knots unless I straighten it but anyway this is kind of an older palette but I haven't got to use it yet um, it's the Mac Stranger Things I think there was I'm pretty sure there was two palettes and two blushes. They clearance them out pretty quickly. Um, I'm usually not a MAC fan and I didn't realize MAC is not cruelty free, so that's my bad. Um, but it's too late to return it. And I also, even though I'm cruelty free with my makeup, I'm also don't throw stuff away because that affects the environment. So. There's a, a line in there that's kind of hard to follow, you know what I mean? But, um, so this is, I think, called the 1986 palette. It looks like that, which I think is actually super cute. I really wish this was cruelty-free, but... And then the little, um, uh, eyeshadow protector thing is so cute. It's like... I say so cute and then I'm going to describe it as a serial killer letter note but in the end these are the colors the other one there was another palette because I remember the colors were darker so let's just get into it um so the ones that don't know the sweet sweet getting close to 16 but I actually thought he was already 16. I looked up his birthday. He's actually 15. But my sweet baby, Lucky, was not able to um he was able to eat but I mean in five minutes he was pretty much I'm using the pink shade called Star Court Mall or the Netflix series references. My allergies are bad today, y'all. Sorry. And he was... So, he wasn't able to keep food down. And he had become bowel incontinent. And that really scared me. Um, Lucky's beginning in life. They know that his throat was damaged, but because there was no, like collar marks and stuff they think somebody tried to kill him with choking him out i know that sounds terrible but he, he's with me 
get a great life now. I try to just, <clears throat> I just, I don't know. I don't have to think about it too much because it makes me so mad. But anyway, so he's kind of had issues. Um, these brushes are not cruelty free either. That's a whole thing I explained in another video, but again, I'm not going to throw them away. Um, I'm doing my best and uh, switching over to cruelty free, but I'm not going to throw things away and affect the environment either, like I said. But the bow and cotton, it's really worrying me because he never done that before. He has gotten um, sick over the years, like, um, and we've ended up finally going with Blue Buffalo Sensitive Stomach. And for years, he's done really well with maybe throwing up twice a month, which maybe sound bad to some of y'all, but that's really good for him. But the last week ish really started Wednesday really bad. He started acting a little different, but we have four disabled cats. You can't run to the vet every time something is a little off because sometimes, well, pretty much every day one of them's a little off. But but I really was kicking myself because. I didn't think about it, but Wednesday night, when I felt like he's actually sick, you know, this isn't normal, I was like, oh no, it's Thanksgiving. So, we were pretty much going to have to wait till tomorrow, which will be Monday when this video goes up. Today's Sunday. And unless I got... I thought, you know, this is too much, and there's a big city about an hour away, um, which has a couple of the 24-hour vets. But um, because we've had not, um, so I don't know what the terminology would be, been through 52-ish cats, just me and Jason, um, there was a bad population of feral cats, and a city we lived in uh, 10, 15 years ago. So I usually know the signs of pancreatitis. Uh, I have a cat right now that if you watch my videos, you know, just recently got diagnosed with it. Um, and I was leaning toward lucky also having pancreatitis or diabetes. Um, because the first couple of days there were some symptoms that could have been more diabetic. And even though he doesn't weigh as much as he used to, he's always kind of been a bigger cat later in life. He was always extremely fit, very muscular. But once he got older, all that muscle started, you know, turning too fat because he's not getting around as much. So I did the best thing I knew to do. And what I thought my country vet would have done is try him on Kit Kat's prescribed food because my vet thinks that food's like the best ever. And even if they don't need a prescription, it's still good for them. So I knew it wouldn't hurt him. You know, it's not like a, a pill that another cat's taking that could throw him off, you know. And the first night it didn't work. I was so... I mean, I was just bawling. I was scared to death. I'm like, oh no. And I know better. I know things don't change overnight. But when it's your baby, sometimes you can't think. And um, it's a really pretty pink. I'm going to take the, the brown tuppy shade called Benny's Burger on the same brush and kind of deepen the outer corner. But um, after a couple of days, starting yesterday, or... Yeah, starting yesterday, he didn't get sick. He did not have an accident. And so I'm like, okay, okay, this is working. Whatever is in this food, this is working. So, yesterday he kept down about a can of wet food, of the prescription, um, which is about half of what he's supposed to get a day, which made me really happy since he had nothing 
and by last night, he was also way more wear, way more perky. I just knew it was working. This morning, he ate two big tablespoons of that wet food, which I feed the cats four times a day, um, mostly because uh, Kit Kat is mentally handicapped and sometimes he won't touch his food for no reason. Um, so if I feed him four times a day and I know he's ate three, it makes me feel better. So um, two tablespoons is pretty much what he should have ate for breakfast. And then he had lunch not uh, around noon and he ate about one big tablespoon. So it looks like he's probably gonna hit about a can and a half maybe um, by tonight. So, I, I'm hoping, I need to kind of rub this brush off, it's got too, there we go. I am hoping when I call my vet tomorrow, the vet says, well, if this is working, let's just leave him on the prescribed food. I'll send the prescription over to Chewy.com. And um, all these colors are doing really, really nice. Oh, it's not picking up because they're so light. And um, we'll just go with that instead of, you know, paying six, seven hundred dollars for blood work, x rays, all the things, which would be a year's worth of the prescribed food almost. Um, I'm gonna go into the green a little bit and see if that'll deepen it up. I hope it don't muddy it. It might muddy it. Uh, but, um, Oh no, it's fine. It's fine. But um, I'm hoping that he says, let's just see what that does for about a week. Because I feel like we're on the right track already. And if I don't have to waste $700 for this vet appointment, I get to put that toward another vet appointment that will, will come up because they're disabled, remember. But, um, so I feel even though I'm in a lot of pain because my foot and just, well, normal pain stuff since I'm disabled. And um, my medicine change that I've talked about on my mental health drugs has got me stressed. Today is a good day. I feel like all my problems just went knowing that luck is better. It's so crazy to think I'm on mental health drugs you know, because I can't keep my, my brain doesn't keep things together really well sometimes. Um, but my cat gets better and I feel like I have no mental health problems at all. It's so weird how the human brain and body works. Yeah, that doesn't, I mean, it's a little tiny bit muddy, but it's not bad. It kind of looks made it turn into Versus where it's like a evergreen color. It made it look like a more brown green. Which kind of is what muddying is. But not. it doesn't look bad. But anyway. So I'm feeling pretty good today about that. And my stomach is saying it is time to eat. We had breakfast. But I don't know about you guys. If I actually eat breakfast instead of just a banana like I normally do. If I eat breakfast, it's like my body says, oh, you can eat a regular meal. Well, you know what? When it comes lunchtime, we're gonna do it again. When on a normal day, I don't eat that much unless I eat a regular breakfast. It's like my body don't know what to do. I'm more of a big dinner person, which I know is kind of backwards from what they tell you to do. But if I eat too much in the morning, I get sick to my stomach. I don't know why. It's like my body's not ready for it. Oh, I got a little out of control there. I'm gonna use this tissue. I usually try to blend it out, but that's quite a bit. I'll go back in with some more paint and try to clean it up a little bit. Oh, well, it's not terrible now. But I don't know where we're gonna eat kind of don't care it's, I'm kind of at the point of hunger that my body's like whatever Jason picks is fine 
don't argue, just go straight there. <laughs> but let me show you. It's the green. Can you tell? Like it's not really muddy, but it's, I don't know. I, my hands are kind of shaky today, so I think it's kind of getting a little out of control. I'm gonna blend the edges, see if I can make it look a little bit more even with the other eye. I usually can control my hands doing makeup, but I don't know. Let me put some more pink on top of that where I went kind of crazy. I'm just going to put some, I don't know. Yeah, I'm not going to use glitter glue. I think that's going to be a little too stark for what I feel like. I don't know why I've gotten so neutral or light on my eyes and stuff lately but that's the beauty of makeup right i'm gonna use the blue um shimmer shade right in the middle the beauty of makeup is you can change the way you want it all the time and if you decide on a look and you're like oh i don't like that it washes off it's amazing So, the shimmer is pretty, but it is really light. It's lighter than even what I want today. If I went in with a glitter glue, it'd probably be better. But it's fine for what I'm doing today. It's no big deal. But I used to like to paint before my hands shook so bad. And um, once it's on canvas, I mean, you can kind of mess around with it and change a, a few little things. But if you got a image in your head and you got it going and you messed up, it's really hard to correct. Makeup, you just wash it off and you got a whole new canvas. And you usually can kind of correct on your face with concealer or another eyeshadow if you're in a hurry. So I can't believe I was never into makeup before. It seems so weird now because I'm such a lover. But, you know, I was doing four sports before and I guess I just didn't have time for makeup really, you know? But I feel like I remember some of the girls on my teams wearing a little bit of makeup. Of course, we sweated it all off playing whatever form of ball we were playing, but I don't know. Never was my thing. Even when I wore a little mascara and a little lip balm, I kind of did it because other people were doing it. I can't believe I never got into this because the way I do makeup now, it, it gets my creative side of my brain going. And I really enjoy it. It's just kind of shocking it wasn't. I guess I didn't realize that it was such, it can be such an art, you know? I think that's where I'm gonna leave the eyes, except for a little eyeliner and mascara. Like, this is a cute little palette. Like, it would be good to travel with and stuff. It's not my favorite. Again, I may actually give this to a friend because it's not cruelty free. I guess I should have thought about that before I put my fingers in it. My friends wouldn't care, but if it had been brand new, I could have done a Christmas present, but whatever. I haven't. Today's the first day I've kind of been thinking halfway straight because I'm lucky being on sick. So and it's almost like I'm not thinking straight because I'm so happy. Does that make any sense? It's like I'm so elated that he's feeling better that I'm not thinking right either. Buddy's asleep with Jason and Jason's watching the, the game, the Titans game. And, um,. This is that liner I used the other day. Coffee, I guess. The Daydream. It's like a baby blue. I don't know if I like it yet. So I'm going to try it again. That way I know if I need to return it or not. I hate returning makeup. But I can't keep stuff that don't work right. You know what I mean? But if you use it, they got to throw it away. 
And I guess I understand a lot with eyeliner because, I mean, it's really on your eye, but I don't know. I just feel like, why can't you donate to a women's shelter or something? You know what I mean? I hate waste. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. I think that was the hardest part for me working at Walgreens or any retail company. This is not just Walgreens. Most of them throw away like slightly expired something or which I, I kind of understand that because the lawsuits in case something was to happen but um, it's very rare because like if um, a lot of things like canned goods if it says expires 513 there's actually a give period if you work retail you know this um, so that if somebody does eat it after the date they, there is a safety range there. But anyway, it was so hard seeing the things in the little bucket in the back that was either a little expired or somebody brought back that we're not supposed to put back on the shelf or whatever. It, I don't know. It was just difficult for me because I know there's people that could use it and that's the way even with makeup for me I hate but if it don't work you can't just throw away your money you know you still have to think wisely that's why I try to watch um, reviews or ask people what do you think of this brand before I buy something my allergies are crazy y'all oh I dropped my tissue but I try to get, I may not watch spoiler videos, but I do try to ask around to see what people think so that I know if I think it fits my makeup needs. My hands are shaking so much, the mascara thing is not going too hot. But um, this is a Tower 28 mascara. I wish it was waterproof, but I, I actually really like this a lot. It's not like flaking or being messy because the wand's bad. I'm literally shaking, so I probably should have skipped mascara. If y'all hear that, I got an American flag right outside this window. And um, the wind is making the rod that it's um, kind of attached to kind of ting, 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 you know what I mean? I really like this mascara. I really wish it was waterproof. I prefer waterproof mascara. Always that I always have. Even when I wore mascara as my makeup, <laughs> I always bought waterproof. But you don't really need waterproof every day. I wish there was like. A liquid you could like drop into your mascara like Inglot or something. Like how you can put stuff on your boots to make them waterproof. You just drop that in your mascara. I made it worse. Mascara and it'll make it waterproof. That is what I need to invent. I'm not good enough at science to invent it, but if you are and you take my idea, um, just give me a couple bucks, you know? <laughs> oh, I got a fuzzy in my... I don't know time with these lashes. But, anyway. Some of the loud trucks in the neighborhood are going by. I say neighborhood. We are literally a dead-end road that has, like, 12 houses. I don't know. Which I love. I love the country. I am starting to ramble. Sorry, guys. I'm telling you, I've been so tore up the last couple of days. Now, I'm just so happy that my brain's not working right. I heard a lot of people say this mascara was good is why I decided to give it a try. Because I, I just pulled out a bunch of mascaras that are older. Or I didn't remember when I opened them. 
because I was getting a little bump in my waterline. And you know what? After I started using new mascara, it went away. So I did mess up and there was an old mascara in that I had used somehow. I try to be really careful with my mascara because my eyesight's so bad. I have made a little bit of mess to mascara. So when you see my eyes, it's not the mascara's fault. Again, it's my shaky hand. But I think that's all I'm gonna do today, guys. Um, Thanks for being here though. And thanks for all the well wishes with Lucky. You guys are so amazing. Like you don't know, sometimes I feel alone when it comes to the way I feel about my animals. Um, a lot of people think I'm crazy because I would take a bullet for them. That's not a joke. Uh, I would take a bullet for your animal. That's just the way I feel. And um, when they get sick or whatever, people don't get it. You know what I mean? Like, they don't get why I'm on the floor and holding the baby or because I am disabled and it's not easy getting up or why I stay awake for four days or whatever. Um, that's what I think you guys because if you don't understand, you've been so supportive and not said, well, you need to do this. Um, either you understand because you feel like me or you have been supportive in knowing that is how I feel. So, I love you guys so much. Let me show you the eye look. It actually turned out pretty good. Um, again, not my favorite palette, of course, because it's not cruelty free. Why are you not cruelty free? But, um, I wouldn't buy it again if it was cruelty free, so eh. But anyways, I love you guys so much. I'm gonna go eat. Hopefully the food will get my brain working again. I love you. Make good decisions. And I hope to see you next time. Bye, guys.